A masonry dam of trapezoidal cross section with one face vertical has a thickness of 0.6 meter at the top and 3 meters at the bottom. It is 6.6 meters high and has a horizontal base. The inclined face is subjected to water pressure, the water standing 4.5 meters above the base. The weight of the masonry is 23.56 kN per cubic meter. If there is no hydrostatic uplift, where will the resultant pressure intersect the base? Is this a good design? So this is the dam and we have here uh, water standing on the inclined face of the dam. So this time this is the hill and this is the toe. And the depth of water in the inclined face is 4.5 meters. So there is weight of water that is over this uh, inclined face. So we will divide it into this manner. We have FH still 1.5 meters from the bottom because the surface is below the crest of the dam. So the pressure diagram on the vertical projection is still triangular. So that's why one third of, of 4.5 is 1.5. Then we have weight of water here. We will call this distance x1. And let's solve for x1. x1 as 2 4.5 equals 2.4. 3 minus 0.6 is 2.4 as to 6.6. So x1 as to 4.5 equals 2.4 as to 6.6. So x1 is 1.636 meters. Then we will divide the masonry into this manner of known volume or area. We'll call that weight 1. So it obviously weight 1 is half of 0.6 or 0.3 meter from the toe, its line of action. Then weight 2 is one third of 2.4, 0 0.8 plus 0 0.6, 1.4, 1.4 from the toe horizontally. So the weight of water from the toe is 3 meters minus one third of 1.636. So 3 minus one third of 1.636 is 2.455 meters. So that's the moment arm of weight of water from toe. So F8 is specific weight of water, 9.31, bar is 4.5 over 2, area 1 by 4.5. So it is equal to 99.33 kilonewtons. Then weight of water equals 9.81, 1 half of X1, 0.5 of X1, 1.636, height 4.5 times perpendicular to the board 1. So weight of water, 36.11 kilonewtons. Weight 1 is 23.56 times volume 0 0.6 times 6.6 .6 times 1. So it is 93.3 kilonewtons. Weight 2 is, this one is 23.56 quantity 0 0.5 of 2.4 times 6.6 .6 .6 times 1. So it is 186.6 kilonewtons. So Ry is equal to 93.3 plus 186.6 plus 36.11. The sum of vertical forces is Ry. So Ry is 316.01 kilonewtons. Let's locate it. So let's say that's the position of Ry and its distance from the toe is x. Then to solve for x, we sum up moment about the toe. Ry times x plus Fh times 1.5 then equals Ry times x plus Fh 99.33 times 1.5 equals weight 1, 93.3 times 0 0.3 plus weight 2, 186.6 times 1.4 plus weight of water 36.11 times 2.455. Solving for x, x is 0.7243 meters. So it is outside the good design range, which is B over 3 less than equal to X and X less than equal to B over 2. So therefore, because this falls outside, the design is not good. So it is good design if the water level is the water is on the vertical face from problem one.
So to answer, is this a good design? That's not a good design. So what makes it, can we remedy this to be good design? Yes, you may, we may add here, but that's an additional cost. The best way is uh, the water level, the water should be on the vertical face. That's the remedy.